Hi guys, welcome back to another Dominations video, and today we're going to be going over Offensive Coalitions. I'll be going over the Defensive Coalitions in a Part 2 video that will come out soon. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first off, let's talk about the Embassy. To even get Coalitions in the first place, you need to build the Embassy, which can be built in the Medieval Age. You can also upgrade it over time so you can unlock more Coalitions and upgrade them. Also, if you are upgrading your embassy and trying to form coalitions, you cannot do it at the embassy itself. Instead, you need to do it from the World War. I will show you an example. All right, let's go to the World War. All right, as you can see in the top right hand corner where it says active coalitions, there's going to be three plus symbols. You won't see it because I already have coalitions formed. Just click on the plus symbols and this is how you can form your coalitions, even if your embassy is upgrading. Also, with offensive coalitions, you can activate them anytime during World War, even if your World War has begun. But if you activate an offensive coalition when World War is active and you want to change it, you cannot do that. So let's get into the offensive coalitions themselves. So first off, let's talk about the Aztec. This coalition will affect all bear troop attack damage and mercenary health and damage. This only applies to the bear troop. This also applies to the transport plane, as they are considered bear troops. This will also apply to Cherokee, but instead of damage, it gives hit points. Also, you can get a special unit you can form with this coalition called Eagle Warriors. These guys are like riflemen type units that will go after enemy defenders and do bonus damage to them. Consider them like troop tactics, as all coalitions get some special unique unit. Alright, let's move on to the Mongols. Mongols give Mortars and Rain Siege attack speed bonus. This is crucial to the Mortar and Artillery strategy. This also gives Tactics Damage bonus. This is reference to your War Academy. Tactics like Barrage and Demolition. Not really an amazing buff. You only really form Mongols if you're using Mortars and Artillery, to be honest, because that attack speed alone just makes Mongols one of the best coalitions in the game. You also form these Catapult special units they're pretty much just like rain seats with lowered attack speed and lower range so on that note let's move on to the cherokee the cherokee will improve your supply card healing and they will also improve paratroop hit points uh, the paratroop hit points will also affect paratroopers as well just like aztec with damage cherokee will also improve it in that way all right and you get the special unit ginju sorry if i mispronounced that these units you don't get very many but they have good hit points and they do of damage but they are very weak against walls so they're good cleanup units all right moving on to americans what the fuck is americans will increase your factory troop attack damage they will also improve your airplane health this will affect paratroopers, but only affect the plane, not the units. You also get the marines. These are pretty much exactly like heavy infantry units. So yet again, good cleanup troops. That's pretty much what all the war tactics for offensive are good for. Just good cleanup units. Don't deploy them in heavily guarded areas, because they're just going to die easily. They're not very tough, but they do good damage. Alright, last but not least. Let's move on. Ethiopians. The last offensive coalition that you get in the game. They will improve your factory troop health. And they will also increase general attack damage. You will also form the King Nu infantry. These are pretty much exactly like bazookas. Good damage to tanks. Good damage to buildings. They don't really have a huge weakness except enemy infantry. So... That's all, uh, everything about the offensive coalitions and their units. Uh, let me know what your guys' favorite offensive coalitions are in the game. Also, let me know if this helped. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.